and welcome to a new video so today i'm doing something that i haven't done before and that is a five star predictions video so this is going to be a sort of tbr because i'm not really doing tbrs anymore at the moment but this is basically a bunch of books that i am planning to read very soon that i am predicting will be five stars i'm probably going to cry because i have very high expectations for all of the books i'm including in this video so yes i'm very excited to talk about all of these books with you and before we do i do want to talk about the sponsor of today's video because speaking of five stars this jewelry company is a five star company five out of five stars i'm obsessed so the sponsor is anna louisa and i'm so excited to be working with anna louisa i've always really really wanted to work with them and when they reached out to me i was of course so excited because as you guys know i love my jewelry i always have like six rings on i'm always wearing necklaces bracelets earrings everything you know i love my jewelry and you're always asking me where i get jewelry from so yeah i was so excited when they did reach out to me because their pieces are stunning so i have some of them on right now so just in case you didn't know what Ana Luisa is, Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewellery brand. So they really care about the planet, which is one of the main reasons I really, really wanted to work with them. And they actually offset 100% of their carbon footprint, which is really, really good. Like insanely good and they are carbon neutral including both their products and the packaging that they come in so i do want to show you guys first the packaging that the products come in before i actually show you them so these are all the little pouches that my jewelry came in and can i just say like how cool are these these are so cool to take when you're traveling and i'll definitely be doing that to keep my jewelry safe and protected but like how cute is this packaging so i just wanted to mention that because i do think like that is a really a really good touch to just the jewelry overall is the fact that they come so well packaged so i really admire them for that let alone the fact that they create such strong jewelry pieces so all their products actually have a two-year warranty now i've had these for a little over a week and i've been wearing them every single day including my ring as well and i've had absolutely no issues one of the main things that i struggle with with jewelry i buy a lot of really cheap jewelry and i wear it like every day because when i find something i like i don't take it off and it always tarnishes after a while and it breaks my heart every time these have been tested against tarnishing and they also test against allergies breakage and damages as well so yeah these really are high quality jewelry pieces and they're super affordable as well so i have on the saya necklace here at the top which is so beautiful and dainty i just love it so much i've been wearing it and i've had so many people when i've been at work ask me where this necklace is from because it's so stunning and then i'm also wearing the hannah so i've layered them because on the chains there's like three different ways you can wear it so you can change the length which is a must for me with necklaces so you're able to layer any pieces you get so i've just got this one on a slightly longer chain and this is the hannah necklace i love the rose detailing on this it's super delicate and pretty and honestly like i just love how it looks like it makes me feel really like sophisticated and elegant and i've been wanting some really nice necklaces that i could either wear separately or together and i just feel like these two are like perfectly matched together like i love them and then i also got this snake ring so this is called petra now you guys know i always wear rings like all the time and i've been wearing it every day and it's literally the perfect size for me as well and i'm just obsessed with it like it's so beautiful Oh, i'm just so happy i'm definitely gonna have to get myself the snake earrings to match this ring because i'm obsessed like it's so good and it looks so expensive so if you did want to treat yourself to some anna louisa jewelry which i would highly recommend guys like seriously it is so worth the hype and just such good quality i'm so happy like honestly i can't stop saying it and i can't stop staring at these necklaces all the time like i literally never will take any of this jewelry off again but they do have a sale on the website currently but you can use my discount code and get 20 percent off so i'll have it on the screen here and in the description box down below they also have fast and free us shipping and returns and affordable worldwide delivery so if you guys want to treat yourself to some stunning jewelry especially with the summer coming up like for me personally i love having nice new jewelry for the summertime so if you're in the uk or europe and summer's coming up you might want to get yourself some jewelry and even if it's not summertime soon where you live how can you say no to some nice new affordable stunning jewelry like i honestly am just so obsessed so yes thank you so much to Anna Louisa for sponsoring this video i will have my discount code and Anna Louisa's website linked down below so make sure you do check it out would highly recommend i'm obsessed clearly no i don't think you understand 
I'm obsessed. And now let's get into my five star prediction. So I'm kind of scared to do this video because I don't want to jinx any of them, but I'm going to do it anyway for you guys because a couple of you have asked me to do this. So yeah kind of scared though we may as well start with my current read because this is a five star prediction for me and yeah it's this one so this is binding 13 by chloe walsh i'm only 90 pages in so far this book is absolutely ginormous and i actually bought this on a whim after seeing the hype for it on book talk and bookstagram and my friend em from perfect paperbacks has read this book and she literally said it's one of the best things she's ever read so I had very high expectations for this book and honestly I'm really enjoying it so far and if this isn't a five star read then I am going to be suing Chloe Walsh like come on now this has to be five stars it has to be like it can't let me down like that like the hype I've seen for this book the praise the reviews it has to be five stars I didn't even know what this book was about when I bought it like I was just going off the hype alone I was just trusting the reviews that I saw um so this is a romance it's set kind of like at a college in Ireland and basically we have this girl who is trying to escape relentless bullying that she has unfortunately had to suffer through all through primary school and her high school years and she also has a lot of family issues with her father and things like that and she finally is able to attend this college it's a college that you have to pay a tuition to and she's not from a rich family she's from a very poor family and eventually they have no choice but to send her to the school to try and give her a fresh start and to escape the bullying and there she meets this guy called johnny and he is the rugby star he's a rugby captain and she is a couple of years younger than him and it's basically about her going to school and making a new start there's romance there's friendship in here horrifying secrets pain lots of different things it's by no means a light and fluffy book this does have a lot of darker themes to it and i think it's going to discuss a lot of dark topics as well but so far i'm really enjoying it and i do like the fact that it's set in ireland and it comes with a glossary so i can refer to the glossary if there's anything i don't understand and yeah i'm just really enjoying it so far like i don't know exactly what it is about this book that is so enjoyable but there is something already and i'm only 90 pages in so i'm so excited to read the rest of this book and yeah it is a romance and i don't think this is classified as like a dark romance but i think it does have dark themes so make sure you do check out any trigger warnings but yeah i'm definitely predicting five stars and i'm also predicting this is going to make me cry my eyes out so we'll see so next we have happy place by emily henry which i'm sure you guys have seen everywhere because that's all i've seen on bookstagram and everything recently i've not seen any other book mentioned except for this one so i've read one emily henry book before which was book lovers and i really liked it i think i gave it three stars initially but then bumped it to a four i loved it because the writing was unlike any romance book i'd wrote before it wasn't just simple romance it had a lyrical and poetic like a flow to it which i hadn't experienced in a romance book before and i really really liked that about it so i have been really excited for this one because it sounds incredible it's a second chance romance and i'm just excited to see if this is any good or not so the back of this arc as well like listen to this so it says go to your happy place i think desperately only to realize i'm literally in my happy place and he is here the very last person i expected to see the very last person i want to see win connor my fiance <laughs> like i'm sorry but does that not just sound so intriguing so yeah basically we're following two exes and they have a pact there's also fake dating in here and like an awkward holiday so basically they broke up six months ago and they still haven't told anyone and now they are having to go on this holiday together pretending they're still together when they're not and this is so funny because it actually reminds me of a friend like this actually happened to a friend of mine and yeah they have to go and share a room at this cottage which is like their yearly getaway with their friends this is like the last time as well they're all able to go to this cottage so they really don't want to like ruin it by telling anyone they've broken up so they're kind of just going with it and pretending they're still together and everything's fine so yeah they're trying to get away with this in front of the people that do know them best as well so yeah i'm really excited i think this is gonna be so good it's kind of like false proximity as well i guess and yeah a second chance romance so i don't read second chance romance too often either so i'm definitely excited for this one and to see how it goes I've just seen so many glowing reviews for this book so I really hope it does not let me down and I'm excited to read this. I think this is going to be the perfect summer read as well like the fact this is set in a nice little summer cottage like it's definitely going to be the perfect vibes for summer and I just can't wait to like sit in the garden with a nice drink and this book and relax in the sunshine and just read away happy in my happy place. <laughs> 
That was so bad. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. But yeah, anyways, I am so excited for this book. If it's not five stars, I'm going to be so sad, honestly. Like, I really need this to be five stars. Okay, so this next book I was very kindly gifted by my wonderful patron, Vanessa. So thank you so much, Vanessa. And that is Blood Mercy by Vera Roth. This is the first book in the Blood Grey series. And I've heard so many good things about this series from the fantasy romance community. So if this isn't five stars, then I will never listen to the fantasy romance community ever again because this needs to be five stars. This is a slow burn, steamy romance. It has this dude in it who's like a vampire. It has fates and mates and forbidden love. Like all of those things are just the like winning combination for a five star read. Like how can you have all those things in your book and it not be five stars? So this has to be five stars. Like that's just maths, it has to be. So it says here, one human, one immortal, will their alliance save the kingdom or will their forbidden love be a death sentence? We have this girl called Cassia and I think she realizes like her father is like the evil danger in her world. So she seeks out this guy who's on the cover, whose name I can't remember, to try and help her. And she's mortal, he's immortal. And yeah, this guy, is her father's enemy and obviously if he finds out that she's working with his enemy he'll kill her and he says here he wants her more than her blood and if he can't resist temptation he'll provoke the war he's trying to prevent so yeah this just sounds incredible and if it's not five stars then i just don't even know how i will go on anymore um this has everything in that i want in a fantasy romance and it sounds exactly like my kind of story and yeah, I just like, I need this to be five stars. Like I need it to be five stars. Okay, so this next one is a new addition to the five star predictions pile. And that is The Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. This one I've seen everywhere, like literally everywhere. Like I can't escape this book. So my expectations are through the stratosphere. Is that even possible? Does that even make sense? Probably not, but they're through the roof. Okay, let's just go with that one. They are very high. They are sky high. Okay, I don't know why I'm saying all these things to make you understand, but anyway, you get that I have high hopes for this book. This book is just literally like on everyone's radar at the moment and everyone I follow and trust has been given this five stars, saying it's amazing. I even saw one review that said this is better than Sarah J Master's books. And this was coming from someone who was like a Sarah J Mass stan. Like they, their whole account is Sarah J Mass. So I don't know how to take that. So my expectations are very high. So I hope that doesn't affect how good this book is. If my expectations are a little too high, hopefully not. But I mean, we will see. I know it's romance, it's fantasy, it has dragons. Our main character is learning to be a dragon rider. And one review actually said, it's a mix of the Hunger Games divergent vibes with a few elements from act thrown in for good measure. So I mean, anything that's pitched to be like the Hunger Games but is a fantasy romance instantly has my attention, especially after Serpent and the Wing of Night because that one definitely lives up to the Hunger Games kind of, you know, vibe. So I'm really, really excited about that. And it says here, alliances will be forged, lives will be lost, traitors will become allies, or even lovers but sleep with one eye open because once you enter there are only two ways out graduate or die so yeah this sounds so good i still don't fully understand the premise and i just don't care i'm gonna be going into this just to vibe to be honest like just for the vibes and yeah i'm hoping that it doesn't let me down okay next we actually have a novella so this is six scorched roses by carissa broadbent so this is a novella in the crowns of niaxia series which is the series of the seven and the wings of night so while we're on the subject of this book, I'm also going to be adding this one to the five-star predictions list. This is the second book, the sequel to Serpent and the Wings of Night. And I'm so excited because Serpent and the Wings of Night was a five-star read for me. The best fantasy romance I've read in 2023 so far. Absolutely incredible. It really is the Hunger Games meets From Blood and Ash. Like, if From Blood and Ash was actually, like, five stars, then it would be like this book. Like, it is so good, guys. Honestly, like, it's so worth the hype. I just loved it so much just go and read it trust me on this if you're gonna read one fantasy romance book this year and one that i recommend let it be this book but yeah i'm so excited for the sequel and i can't wait to read it but i do also have this novella here this one actually follows a different character called lilith and it's just a little novella so i don't really know the full premise of this one but i don't want to i know i'm gonna love it because it's set in this series and i love the first book so i am predicting that the novella is going to be five stars as well as the sequel so they're both on my five star prediction list Okay, next we have this one. Now, this one I was almost in R about putting on the list because I don't know for sure if it's definitely going to be five stars. But then I was reading the synopsis again and I was thinking about how much I love 
these authors write in in the Zodiac Academy series and I was like it's gotta be a five star like it has to be so this is Dark Fate by Caroline Peckham and Susan Valenti they are the authors of the Zodiac Academy series so the Zodiac Academy series takes place in this world called Solaria and this also takes place in the same world but at a different school and yeah this girl's brother was killed and I think she's a vampire um or something and her brother was killed and she goes to this new school to try and figure out who the person was who murdered her brother and I think we have four like guys who kind of rule this school and she suspects it's one of them then one day there's this werewolf that's high on this new drug and she accidentally kills him and his final words are basically say like the king of, of aurora academy where she is is the one who's behind it but the problem is there's four kings at this school so she's now going to try and figure out which one it is but i think this is also a reverse harem and has a romance in it as well so yeah i'm so excited because i love books like this set like at a school like a magical school and the zodiac academy series like the school that it's set in is just so incredible like i love the world building in these books so much so i'm so excited to see more of that in this one and the fact that this is also a murder mystery just makes me even more excited i love a murder mystery in a fantasy book so this one i'm sure it's gonna be five stars like please don't let me down my girlies like i need you to be five stars it's gonna be i just know it. it's gonna be five stars okay so next one is actually a sequel and this one is the ballad of never after by stephanie garber i actually reread the first book earlier this year and i had planned to read this but i just haven't gotten to it yet i loved once upon a broken heart i read it as an arc in one night like i literally could not put it down and then I reread it again earlier this year and the same thing, like I loved it. The writing and the storytelling in this series is incredible and the characters as well, honestly. I just don't know what it is. I cannot put my finger on what it is that Stephanie Garber does, but it's like there's crack in these books. Like they are so good. And I haven't gotten to this one yet and I don't know how I haven't, but I haven't. And I'm gonna change that soon. Like I need to read this and I know it's gonna be five stars. Like I just know it. People say that this is even better than the first book. And it's very rare, unless you're Akamath, that the second book is better than the first. Like the first book is nearly always the best book in the series. So when people were saying this is even better, I was like, how on earth can you even beat the first book? So I am immensely excited for this book and it has to be five stars. I'm sure it will be. I think a lot more romance is gonna happen in here and a lot more interesting and intriguing details are gonna be revealed. So I'm really, really excited. And yeah, I just, it's gonna be five stars. I don't even need to question it. I know it will be. Okay, and then the last and final book. Some of you may be shocked to see this on here because you would have thought I would have read it by now. Me too, but I have my reasons so yeah I've been saving it um for as long as I possibly could because I knew the third book wasn't coming anytime soon and I was like I don't want to wait long so I was like I'll wait a little while longer until it's closer to the third book now the third book's been announced it's you know safe to read it but I'm just scared I'm not even gonna try and get around it I'm just scared to read it I'm terrified um I did read the prologue when it first came out and I hated the prologue I've got to be honest and when you see what the book is you're gonna be shocked because how could I ever hate anything written by this other? But I hate the prologue, but I hadn't read the rest of it yet. So um, the reason I put it down and stopped reading it was because that week I had some stuff happening and I couldn't read. And then I saw a spoiler on the same day that it released for a certain something. And if you've read this book, then you know what that massive thing at the end is. And just out of pure like pettiness and just being mad, I refused to read the book there. And then I was like, no, like, I need to just simmer in my rage for a while before I can pick the book up again because somebody ruined that for me. No spoiler warning, nothing on the day it released. Like, I hope that person stubs their toe every single day, honestly. Like, why would you do that? Why do people post spoilers for books on the day of release without even, like, a warning? Like, that's just evil. That is evil. But anyways, so because of all those reasons and just because I wanted to have something to look forward to and I knew this author wasn't writing any of the books for a while, like, I knew we'd be waiting, like, two years or so for another release, I wanted to try and savour it. And, yeah, for that reason, I just haven't gotten to it. And that is this book. <laughs> so, yeah, this is House of Sky and Breath, the second book in the Crescent City series. And I still haven't read it. I definitely do plan to because I loved the first book. I've read it three times, I think, now. Um, and I just really, really, really love it. And I'm so excited for this one because so much more is obviously going to happen in here. There's going to be a lot of character development. I know some new characters are introduced. And I know that spoiler at the end, which I'm still excited for because that's exactly what I wanted Sarah J Maas to do with this kind of universe. Um, but yeah, this is this is the five-star prediction. Out of all of these, this one is just at the top. Um, I know this is going to be five stars. I'm so excited. 
and I can't wait to read it and I am planning to read it this year like I will get to it soon um it's just like I want to make sure I'm 100% dedicated to reading this and I don't have like so much crap going on that distracts me so that time hasn't come just yet but hopefully it will come soon and I will read it I'm gonna film a vlog of course when I do and I cannot wait to just be reunited with these characters and to see what happens what pain is she gonna put me through again who knows, but I'm prepared, okay? I've had two years to mentally prepare. I think two years. I think it's been two years, or no, a year. I've had a year to prepare, I think is when this book came out. I honestly can't remember. Time's just a lost concept on me now. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is the final book in my five-star prediction series. Cannot wait to read it. So yes, they are all my five-star predictions slash my kind of immediate TBR, all books that I'm just super excited to read this year. I cannot wait for every single one of these. And all but two of these books are fantasy romance, of course, because fantasy romance is just my favorite genre. I just love it so much and I always will love fantasy romance. It's the superior genre in every way for me. And yeah, I'm so excited for every single one of these. And if they aren't five stars, then I will just contemplate my entire existence and just like everything I know about books, honestly. Like these books just can't let me down like that. They can't, they can't. I refuse to accept it. But yes, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have read any of the books in this video, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you rated them because I'm really interested to see if these were five stars for anybody else. If anyone rated them extremely low, like let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Let me know what your five star predictions are for the rest of the year. Which books are you super excited to get to that you think will be five stars? And also don't forget to check out Anna Louise's website and use my discount code down below in the description box if you do to snag yourself some stunning high quality jewelry that is super affordable i will have the pieces that i am wearing a link down below would highly recommend honestly guys like i just love these pieces so much and i will actually be purchasing some jewelry from anna louise myself because i'm so impressed with them and i need those snake earrings and i have my eyes on a few other necklaces so i'm going to place an order and i can't wait like i'm so happy that i finally found a company that not only makes jewelry i actually like and is really good quality but it's also sustainable and good for the planet so i'm definitely going to be placing an order and hopefully you guys can get some good pieces with my discount code but yes thanks so much to Anna Louise for sponsoring this video thank you so much to you guys for watching this video I will have everything else linked down below in the description box along with the link to my patreon and that's where you find extra content from me such as a monthly buddy read a monthly readathon a discord live shows extra videos reading vlogs all that good stuff it's all over my patreon and if you made it to the end of this video leave a ring emoji in the comments in celebration of Anna Louisa and don't forget to give this a thumbs up. I hope you're safe and well. I hope you're reading lots of good books and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.